Whether you're bored or just need a break from the daily pressures of life, the internet has tons of cool websites to waste your time on. So today, I'll show you 10 fun websites that you can visit at any time to instantly cure your boredom. Coming up next on Tech Gumbo. Up first, from the good folks over at the Internet Archive, is their Internet Arcade. On this free site, you'll find more than 1,700 arcade video games from the 1970s through the 1990s that you can play legally. After selecting a game, you'll find a description and controls listed below. The controls for many of the games are not always user-friendly, and it's nearly impossible to play these games at its current size. So it's best to choose full screen view for a better game playing experience. If you enjoy playing classic retro games, check out the Internet Arcade. Also, as part of the Internet Archive is their console living room, where you can find hundreds of video games that were created for home gaming systems, including the Atari 2600 and 7800, along with many others. The Sega Genesis is also represented here. At the height of its popularity, it was the absolute best gaming system. Just like the Internet Arcade, you'll find the controls in the console living room are not always the easiest to use. If you enjoy weird stuff, Audi has got you covered with some of the strangest and bizarre content that you can find on the internet. This website is separated into three categories. News is where you can find the latest articles covering a variety of topics. They have numbered lists with photos, including this strange one for the 15 worst lip tattoos. And there's a category called odd stories which are submitted by users. Solace is a short film told in an interesting style with interactive elements. The story is bizarre. It's about a boy that's been imprinted with subliminal ads. While watching the film, you can click and drag on elements around the screen to progress the story. Windows 93 just may be the most fun you'll have with any site in this video. Released a few years ago, this web-based operating system seems to parody Windows 95. There's an old-fashioned start menu. It comes with its own browser called Cat Explorer with several sites bookmarked, including the Internet Arcade. For those of you that have been waiting for Half-Life 3, you can watch it load here. Some of you will get the joke. To not give away too many spoilers, I'll leave the rest of this site for you to discover on your own. Weave Silk is one of those cool sites that lets you kill time by creating amazing artwork with your mouse cursor. It's really easy to figure out. Additional controls can be found here on the left, including the ability to change colors. If you created something truly masterful, you can even save your picture. Akinator is an internet game that gets mentioned quite a bit in the comments and other videos on this channel. Nearly a decade old, the game requires that you think of a popular or famous character. It could be an actor, athlete, political figure, musician, or a fictional character from TV or film. Akinator will ask you a series of questions in an attempt to guess the character you're thinking of. I'll play a quick round and skip to the end of the questions to see if Akinator can guess my character. Akinator guessed my character correctly this time. It was Eleven from Stranger Things. If Akinator can't guess correctly who you're thinking of, you'll be prompted to input the character's name in order to expand its database. The Museum of Endangered Sounds will send you back in time to listen to the sounds of old technologies. Here we have AOL Instant Messenger. The Old Mac Warning. It's not my fault, it's not my fault, it's not my fault, it's... And a typewriter. There are more than 30 sounds archived on this site if you're in the mood for some serious nostalgia. Next up is People of Walmart. If you've ever been to a Walmart store, then you already know that you can see some truly interesting people that stand out in the crowd. This site features user-submitted photographs of those people, including their odd vehicles found in the Walmart parking lot. If you want to narrow down the photos to people within your state, People of Walmart even includes a search by state option. Now it's time for the bonus round. I'll quickly let you know about four additional sites already featured in previous videos that are popular with viewers on this channel. Geek Typer lets you hack like your favorite characters in the movies. 
they now have a cool looking F Society Mr. Robot theme. The useless web, as the name suggests, will take you to a useless website. Some of the sites it takes you to can be fun. Radio Garden allows you to listen to thousands of live radio stations worldwide by rotating the globe and then zooming in on the location. And Coding Game lets you improve your coding skills with games, which can be a fun way to learn programming. And if you're still bored after visiting all those sites, there's always the board button, which will take you to a random site. If you're still bored, you can keep hitting that board button until you've been cured. Do you know of a fun or interesting website you would like to see featured on this channel? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and click the bell notification icon for more fun websites and other tech related stuff from Tech Gumbo.